Hey guys, it is Christy K and welcome to my get ready with me birthday video. Last year I had a COVID birthday, didn't really do a get ready with me. Kept it simple, doing a little Ivy Park dress. This year I actually get to go out and celebrate. Um, I'm wearing something a little green and sexy, so I'm super excited for that. I did this little sultry, sexy green look. So if you like this look and you want to see how I got it, keep watching. And if you're not subscribed already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. Starting off with my Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Primer to get the skin ready. Going in with my NYX Brow Glue, um, it has 16 hour hold. I do need these brows to last all night tonight. To keep my shadow in place tonight, I'm using Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prom in this shade 2 medium. After I blend it out with my finger, I like to take my concealer brush and just blend it out for a more flawless application. Then I take some shape tape to shape my eyebrows, I use the color medium as well. Back again with that concealer brush, the one lines. To start filling in my brows, I'm using Juvia's Place Brow Pencil in the shade Medium Brow. I just keep filling them in until they're full enough for my liking. I have combo skin so my brows usually get a little shiny so I'll fill it in with a brow powder to cut the shine and that's Anastasia in the color dark brown. Taking the gorgeous Tarte in Full Bloom palette to start my eyes. I am so in love with this palette, you guys. It's so beautiful. I started with the shade Fresh Pick and I deepened it with Independent. The blend on the transition shade is so important. It sets the base of your eye look. Mix in the shades Generous and Garden to, to deepen the outer corner. This is my Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. It's an oldie but goodie. They don't make it anymore, but I might be able to find a link for you. I'm mixing Hala for Adala and Money Bags together to create the perfect green for me tonight. In case you guys haven't noticed, I literally mix up everything. Sometimes it's not what you want and you gotta make it. Taking my crease brush from earlier and blending out those neutral shades so that they blend in perfectly with the screen I just added. Doing the same thing with my chocolate shades, just want to make sure that you're able to see that contrast of color and also that they blend into my neutral shades. So I know we usually look down when we do our makeup, but sometimes you gotta look up and have your eyes open to make sure that your crease is going where you want it to go. Because if it wasn't shimmery enough, I needed to add Stila Diamond Dust Eye Glitter on top. If it's one thing to know about me is I love me some glitter and some shine. And especially on my birthday, there's going to be some glitter somewhere. This has to be one of my favorite foundations of all time. Milani Conceal Perfect. It is bay and it's only like $11. But when I tell you we have my skin looking so flawless. I honestly have found nothing like it in the prestige category, that's why I always go back to it. If it's not broken, I don't fix it, that's also my Morphe M439 foundation brush. That brush gives me life as well, most flawless finish as well, they're like the perfect combo. Another Old Faithful Shape Tape in medium for my highlights. I'm just applying this to the center of my face to highlight the areas that I want to be brighter on my face. This is a new addition, the Tarte Shape Tape Glow On. It gives like a glowy, luminous finish without glitter. For more coverage, I like to let it dry for a little bit and then for even more coverage, I take a brush and buff it out before I get to my Beauty Blender for the most coverage that you can get underneath the eyes. Now 
Then I go on with my Beauty Blender for no lines and to blend the concealer in with the foundation seamlessly. Taking my Fenty Cream Bronzer in the shade Teddy to begin sculpting my face. I like to take a fluffier brush and blend it out to make sure that everything is seamlessly blending into my foundation. Another Old Faithful Laura Mercier to set my under eyes. Taking Coco Truffle from this palette to smoke out my bottom lash line. If you notice, I'm doing it while I still have this powder, so it's going to catch any fallout if anything falls. I don't really like to bake for a while, so I'm just brushing off what's left with my Pumphrey brush. If you guys don't know about this Beauty Render Puff, it's amazing. The side I'm using right now allows you to press in your powder that's left over for a flawless finish. I'm taking Charlotte Tilbury Finishing Powder in the shade Medium and I'm just buffing it all over my face to blend everything together. Gotta make sure the lines between the foundation and the contour blend. This is my Sir John Contour Palette from The Lion King. It was a combo with Luminous Cosmetics. I think you can find it on eBay. This is the one. I have to contour and highlight with this. I keep another one on backup. This is the Anastasia Brush Trio in Peaches and like I told y'all earlier, I always mix everything together. I actually didn't know what it was going to look like, but I was willing to take a risk and it was worth it. For my Real Techniques Powder Sponge and Laura, I'm just using that to shape my face. Baking like this creates more shape, brightness, and definition. My under eyes weren't bright enough, so, you know, just add some more powder. I don't let this sit too long either before I dust it off. Because I had already added powder before, I didn't want to let this sit on there for too long. I'm not trying to be out here with dry, cakey under eyes. So this oil is called Skin Glass. It gives you a nice glow without being glittery, and I like to put it underneath my highlight for the most pop ever. I need you to see this highlight from across the room. Phase two of highlighting, dose of colors, chasing the sun. It is a favorite of mine. I ran out of my other one and I had to order another one on eBay. It's my birthday, y'all. Y'all know I had to be out here shining bright like a diamond. So the third and final highlighter is Fenty Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighter. Um, this is the Sandcastle Metallic Bronze Combination. And this is now my new favorite combo. I don't know if you could tell, but I felt that highlighter in my soul. I'm using Smashbox B Legendary Liner in Medium Pink Rose to line my lips. My lipstick of choice is Dose of Colors Libra. I really love their lipsticks, they're so creamy. And to top off my lips in more glitter, Dose of Colors over the top. This can probably only be found on eBay as well. And because I'm over the top and do the absolute most, I'm taking Danessa Myrick's Illuminating Bell in the shade Luma, and I'm just gonna use my brush and buff that out all over my body. The idea is to be glowing from head to toe when I walk in a room tonight. Finishing off with Urban Decay All Nighter, and then just to make sure it sticks, taking my Beauty Blender and pressing it in to lock everything together. I'm usually not too fancy, but this is a splurge. This is the Gucci mascara. And when I tell you guys, I am absolutely in love. I love this mascara. I'll wear it even without wearing lashes. To finish the look, I'm adding Sandcastle to my inner corners from the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter. So this is the finished look guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more makeup tutorials and or hair tutorials, cause I also do natural hair, make sure you subscribe. With that said you guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.